challenge movies. And there's the polka people and the Hawaiian food music people. And by the way, no joke, Tia Carrera has like four fucking Grammys. Yeah, I know, just know Tia Carrera from Wayne's World is now a professional Hawaiian music folk artist with several Grammys. That's a fucking, that's a thing in my house, I'll just be honest. So, so anyway, I am still extremely ex I, excited to go. And the fact that I even get to attend the Grammys is incredible to me. And as a nominee, it's still incredible. So I've got, once again, I've got the rent and ball gown, and I'm walking into the pre-tell Grammys. And this is how I found out that I lost my fourth Grammy in a row. A girl is walking out who I've never seen in my life, walks past me, and just goes like this. Sorry, Kathy. <laughs> When I went to do red carpet for the fancy Grammys, the fancy Grammys are at five, so red carpet is from three to five. So the good news is, the shmammies are so under the radar, nobody really knows I lost by the time I go to the real Grammys. So all they know is that I'm a nominee. So I walked that red carpet like I was fucking Rihanna. <laughs> with Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> Hear me out! All right, so first of all, I, I have to give you the backstage dirt about what really happened this year, uh, New Year's Eve on CNN with Anderson Cooper. Yeah. I know you love him. I know you love the Silver Fox. I know everybody in this room wants him. I get it. I know, I know. All right, so this is my, this was my fifth year doing uh, CNN with him, and I love him, and I just think he's great. But you should know, it's a very value. It's Anderson and I standing on a riser in the middle of Times Square, over 500,000 drunk people, and that's it. There's no bands, there's no Lady Gaga, nothing. It's the two of us honestly just shooting the breeze. And we know that we can't really compete with Ryan and his big ABC telecast with Justin Bieber. And blah, blah, blah. So, every year I feel it is incumbent upon me to do something to amuse you and to keep you from turning the channel. And you know, I may have responded to a heckler one year when I said, shut up, I don't go to your job and knock the dicks out of your mouth. Which they found over there at CNN, and I'm careful about it. You know that every year I do it, and every year I get fired. Oh yeah, I get fired every year you're first. Every year I'm fired. Oh yes, yes. One year you have to get the money back. Oh yes. So I have a contract where I have to sign something called a morals clause. Should not be anywhere near this. This and morals don't get along. But because I love him so much and I have so much fun doing that job, I will sign the morals clause. And then last year I said fuck, and so I had to give the money back. And that kills my inner Susie Orman. Because I worship her and do whatever she says. And I can hear like a mini Susie Orman on my shoulder saying, Because I said, you can't just have me for free. Okay, if I violated my contract, fine. All right, so this year I was like, what can I do where I don't have to get the check back, but I do something that's a little bit visually interesting, something, anything. So sure enough, the day, the night before New Year's, Anderson calls me and he says, Ryan Seacrest wants to take us out to dinner with Carson Daly and have a dinner of like the people that do New Year's. And I said, are you fucking kidding me? You better have your eyes wide open, honey, because this one, he's doing some recon. Don't give away any of our secrets. He's trying to kill us. Don't you get it? He's trying to ruin our lives. And I was like, what are you talking about? You're and insane. And I said, oh, really? You just fell off the turnip truck. You think Ryan Seacrest is going to try to find out everything we do? His dream is to take over the whole world. He's done with the Kardashians. What's it enough? Super paranoid, and Carson Daly was there, and he was very, very 
guys. Oh, get this shit. So Brian brings his girlfriend. <laughs> Stars, Julian and Hop, that's his girlfriend. Where they have a lot of vaginal sex. Genuine, and he just goes, Are you 